title of this mini podcast is The Magic Cauldron. Back in 2006, the Grasshopper gave me a great name for a book, The Magic Cauldron. I haven't written it, but if I ever do, this will be the framework. There is a part of us that takes care of all the things that need taking care of. It's not our head, it's not our heart, but something bigger, a gigantic cauldron where magic happens. Imagine for a moment that your head is a pint container and your heart can hold a gallon. Then imagine your magic cauldron is as large as all the oceans of the earth combined. Next, pretend that your problem is a thimble full of arsenic. That amount in a pint container would surely poison your mind, and it would do quite a job on your gallon container as well. What effect would a thimble full of arsenic have on the world's oceans? It would become diluted and be taken care of with no ill effects. The magic cauldron is where all transmutation happens. The Buddha had a practice where he would ask you to give him all your pain. He took your pain and deposited it in what I'm calling the magic cauldron, where it was washed away. He didn't keep it in his mind, nor did he keep it in his heart. He took it to the only place where it could be taken care of. The major difficulty I see with difficulty is that we make the effort to solve it with our mind and our heart. They aren't equipped to deal with this amount of poison. We need to deposit this dose of pain in a much bigger container where the cleansing is powerful and effective. Look around. There's self-help everywhere. Most of it is designed to get you something. Health, wealth, confidence, etc. I have no quarrel with that. In fact, it's been my business to help people achieve those goals. But very little of the self-help field points you in the direction of the magic cauldron. They use a bevy of techniques that deal with the difficulty on the head and heart level. That can be quite a relief for many, but it's usually temporary and the problem shows up again dressed in another suit of clothes. To my mind, most self-help is like acne cream. It's a topical ointment that does nothing about the cause of the condition. The quickest and simplest step is to get to the magic cauldron. If you're a religious person, you probably have heard the phrase, let go and let God. That's only a partial direction. The how is left out of that directive. The mind and heart cleansing comes about automatically when you take your troubles to the magic cauldron. You get there by employing some form of mind-quieting practice. Meditation, reflection, mindfulness, self-hypnosis, tai chi, yoga, the list goes on and on. Enter this quiet area with the intent of washing away your pain. It just has to be an intention, nothing more. No repeating of mantras or affirmations or visualizations. Just have the intention and then do your practice. Doing this regularly will drain the poison from your mind and heart and dissolve it. When you begin this practice, you're not likely to achieve instant results. This practice does take practice. So when your pain surfaces in your non-meditative state, just mentally imagine your difficulty being deposited into the magic cauldron where it can be cleansed. It'll be enough to get you over the hump until the hump flattens out. If you're a melting pot of misery, may I suggest you find a larger container and find out firsthand that you can calm your woes by putting them in the magic cauldron. All the best, John.